Well, I dated Richard back in the late 90s. Just for a little while, maybe a couple of months. I was working as a film star then. You know, amateur films. You know the type I mean. <laughs> and Richard, he was just such a lovely guy. He was completely different to all the men that I dated in the past. I mean, you know, that was Bruce back in late 95, early 96. Oh, he was such a jerk. And then Richard came along and he was just an amazing person. I didn't know him very well, but I could sense, I could feel it in my heart that this man was destined for good things. And you know, I just felt like I was bringing him down. So after two months, I did the honourable thing and I left him for a woman. Yeah, I've known him for about five, six years. Ever since I married Barry, they were best friends all through primary school, I think. So it's really sad that he dies, but the upside is I get to try out some of my cooking. So I wanted to make something really nice. I was looking in Donna Hay Entertainment magazine. And I found this really nice recipe for mint and mustard roast lamb with caramelised onion creamy potato stacks. And I thought that would be really nice, like a really nice way to say goodbye to this person who had a great life. So I'm going to make everybody some of these. They should be really good. I've been, I've been doing a lot of cooking recently. I, I, I broke a plate the other day, but... Um, that doesn't matter because we got plenty of plates and what's what's one plate to somebody's life I mean he's, he's died it's so sad I'll I'll really miss Darren it's so sad that he died Darren's not dead who's dead then his brother Richard Richard oh oh well I don't know Richard Now, Grandad, are you up to talking about your will today? Whose will? No, 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 no. Your will! Oh! Down the road, you mean? Will and Lucy, I think her name is. No. He's always stealing my post. No. No. Oh. No. Focus. Ready? Okay. Your will for when... You pass away. I know it's not going to happen. Not anytime soon. I know. But just in case, you need to have a will. Because what happens if, you know, you walk out that door tomorrow and get hit by a bus? Oh, no, no, no. And then what's going to happen to all your kids? You know? I haven't got any kids. Yes, I know, and I rang Rachel immediately, and she said exactly the same thing. It was, yeah, I know, but, um, Harry's on holidays on, you know, some kind of business trip thing, and I can't get a freaking babysitter for these children, and I can't leave them at home by themselves. Yeah, so I'm, ma I'm married to, um, Gary. He works, he's a contractor. So, yeah, he's, he's making some pretty good money, which is so good, because it means I get to stay home with the children. And I can go to the gym. I really love going to the gym. It's like, I would like, just, I would just like kill myself if I couldn't go to the gym because like, I have, you know, a figure to uphold and, you know, I don't want to be one of those mums that just puts on so much weight after she has her children. Like, that is disgusting. It's freaking disgusting, okay? So, I just thought I'd pop in before I go to the gym. No, that's fantastic. Thank you for coming round. Well, I, I wouldn't miss seeing you. I know, I know. But it's I've been just, ages. I know how busy you are. I know. With but the twins. Yeah, well, you how know. are they, by the way? Oh, uh, they're little terrors oh, at I the moment. They are. <laughs> I mean, two boys, who would have them, really? Well, I know. But I just wish I'd had a girl like you. I know. I'm so lucky to have two beautiful little girls Aww, yeah, and I'm I can I just I feel for you because you know yeah. two boys that's rough that's really 
I don't have anyone to take shopping with me or hey, do hey, makeup you've with. Always got me to take oh, shopping. Oh, I know. Before. You're so fantastic. What would I do without you? What would I do without you? Oh, oh, thank you. So, me and Sherry, we met at um, Methodist Ladies College. Yeah. Back in, oh, must have been like around about. And four? I think was it was 93. 93, yeah. Mm, it was 93. a long time ago now. It's such a long time ago. Okay. And we're still friends. Yeah. It's so amazing. I know. All this time. And um, you know what? You've barely changed. Oh, neither have you. In fact, you've gotten prettier. Oh, I know. I know, right? Yeah. I love the photos. I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> you were still <laughs> gorgeous back so then, though. I know. <laughs> Hello. My name's Di Hoovy. I used to be a librarian. Uh -huh. I liked being a librarian. It was nice and quiet. And there were books and the Dewey Decimal System. I like the Dewey Decimal System. It's really, really ordered. I like things to be ordered. I used to live next door to Richard. And I knew him for a little while, I think. I think his family used to come and visit him, or strangers maybe, I'm not sure, but I don't really know him anymore, which is sad, I think. Well, I mean, Richard's kind of like my half-brother, but like I never really grew up with him because I lived with my mum and he lived with somebody else, like our dad, or something like that, I don't really know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'd see him sometimes at, like, Christmas and stuff. Um, but I was hanging out with my cousins, like, Raquel and Heather and stuff. And he was hanging out with, you know, some of the guys who I don't really talk to. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we're relatives, but I don't really know him very well. all the time together and you know she's helping me work off my baby weight uh, she's such a good friend in that way because you know she just pushes me so hard to get rid of it and I'm so thankful that I've got her and she's some relative of this guy Richard or something he just I don't know died and then I don't, I don't know him or anything so I don't really know what the fuss is about so modelling for me is like a way of expressing my inner beauty and, you know, I get paid quite well for the work that I do, you know, I, I, I've got all the different looks happening, I've got the kind of, you know, that, 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 that's one of my looks. And then I've got the more mysterious, like, kind of, you know, the, that look. And then sometimes I do something a bit more playful, which is more like, like this like anyway the library was nice because it was quiet and I could have my visions there I used to get visions in the library all the time you see I'm psychic sometimes I see the future it's not very nice I don't think I saw Richard's future once and I told him and he said it was a load of bollocks. After that, I didn't speak to him again. And I haven't seen him for a while. I wonder what happened to him. You know Richard died. Did he? I didn't see that. Okay, so that means you have significant funds oh, yes. to leave to your children. Do you want to put that in a trust fund? Oh. You don't want to no, put it in a trust fund? No, I don't trust trust funds. They take your money, and you know what they do with it? They give it to your children when you die. Oh no, they invest it in cattle farming. But that means you get more money. Oh, 
money. Your money? Yes. Savings account? Long term deposit? Yes. And a trust fund? Have you seen Jenny recently? I think she passed away. We went but to her funeral. But I don't want to tell anybody in case Granddad. she hasn't. And Granddad. She's just on holidays. Granddad. Granddad, we went to her funeral. Oh, was that? Yeah. Oh. Yes. It was very sad. Yes. You remember? My granddaughter, you may have met, she comes around sometimes, I never know, she never tells me when she's coming around and sometimes I have plans, have, like, bingo, and watching the television. I'm Kate Mulligan and I'm currently working at a PR firm uh, over the east of the, in the, on the east side of the city and I'm doing that as a stepping stone to becoming a self-managed business person. So, Grandad, you, you've left money to my family, yes. my, my parents, myself, yes. my brother, yes. and my husband. You have a husband? Yes. Well, isn't that news? Oh, we must have a party. We what's, got married five years ago. What's his name? Greg. So, my husband Greg is a bit of a non-entity. I married him because of his connections, uh, but in the end, I had more connections than him. I mean, I know people who know people, and he just knows some people. I mean, really, like, that wasn't helpful at all, and I'm, I'm not too sure how this marriage is working out anyway. Oh, that's a fine name. He hates it. He's planning to get it changed. What is he going to change it to? Robert. I... What? Robert. <sighs> no, it's... Oh, there's one name I hate, it's Robert. <sighs> Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible name. Well, it's okay, his name's Greg at the moment. Oh, fine name, Greg. Anyway, so, you've left money to all these people, but who's this person, Richard? Who? I don't that? know anyone called Richard. You've got, it's got it down as grandson. I have no grandchildren, so I don't know. You do Somebody have... must have made that up. I think the people at the taxation department have a ploy to steal my house and all my assets. Well, I'll look into it because... You can't be leaving money to someone that you, you don't know. No. And I've never met him, so... Um, I've never met anyone called... I don't know anybody called... Who is Richard? I don't know anybody. I know people Richard. who know people, but I don't know this Richard, so... Can't be anyone important. No. I say, take it to the police. No, I won't do that. I'll just go check and the they... registry and of births, deaths and marriages because if he is a grandson of yours, it'll be on there. Yes. And the police will find him. I'm there. not going to the police. It's not a matter for the police. Oh. There's no crime in leaving your money to someone that you've never met. You can do that. Yes. It's just if you've never met them, it might be better not to do it. Yes. Yes. Unless he is your grandson. I have no grandchildren. You do have grandchildren. I'm one of them. My name's Shaniqua. And that's sh little thingy, little thingy, my what's it, Niqua, right? I'm Shaniqua Manning. And I live in the suburbs of Perth. And, uh, and I am um, cousin, Beckenham, which is not the same as Beckham, it's Beckenham. And I've come to this place because I'm at university. And we have an exchange program, and somehow I ended up here. And it's taking her to get her hair extensions tomorrow, because I got mine done recently, and I think it looks awesome. And I think that Caddy here could do with some. So we're going to my hairdresser, and that'll be fun. And you'll get a whole new look. It'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I've always wanted it to look like... I know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, is that is that real hair or is that no? Nah, it's, it's the, the plastic stuff. I can't afford the real hair stuff. Huh? Really? Oh, oh. And, and you want me to? Yeah, it'll look good. Get look, the, look the awesome. Plastic as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, well, didn't you have plans for tomorrow though? Didn't you have a funeral to go to? Who's? I. Uh, Richard. I don't know no Richard. Oh, I'm sure your mother, but then she could have been talking about something on television. I don't know. 
I can't offer you anything. I might. Granddad, giving me all those sweets made my teeth rotten. You could have some of this. I don't know what happened to the rest. Maybe it was that David down the road. He's we always had it for Granddad. eating my food. Mm. I'll save that for later. Okay. But we need to sort out who this Richard person is. I don't know anyone. It's fine. Richard. It's fine. I'll go sort it out. I'll I'll deal with it. Yes. That's I'll what I'm paying you for. You're not paying me, Grandad. Oh. Excellent. Pleasure doing business with you. <sighs> you still here? Yes, Grandad, I'm still here. I'm off to play bingo. Let yourself out. Grandad, some candy I have to, Grandad, I have to drive you. Goodbye! I've got to drive you. You can't drive. And he couldn't, he couldn't believe it, he couldn't handle it, but Richard being the, the strong man that he was, he moved on, and I never saw him again. And I'm really, really sad to hear that he's passed away, because the world has lost a genuine bloke.